You're watching IT Pro TV. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Windows 10 Cool Features, where we let Mr. Adam Gordon reach into that bag of Windows 10 Cool Features, pull one out, and we do a show on it. So Adam, what do we got in store today? So today we're actually going to revisit one of our most popular episodes. Believe it or not, we've been getting so many questions and comments from you guys out there watching this, and I never thought it would have been this episode. I bet you if I asked Mike, which do you think our top episode of all the cool new features ones we've done so far is, I don't even know what Mike's going to say, but I'm thinking he may not pick the one that we're going to do. But let's see. What do you think it is? I'm going to say it's uh, Chromium, right? The new Edge Chromium. New Edge Chromium. That's a good choice. You know, it might actually in the future, but it's not that one. You know what it is? It's the old Snip and Sketch, believe yeah. it or not. One of my more favorite tools. We spent some interesting times looking at it. Mike and I had fun with that episode. But you've been writing in and asking us all sorts of questions about, hey, that's a really cool feature, but... How do we rotate that ruler? How do we grow and shrink that protractor? And we keep having to answer those questions. So we thought, you know what? We should probably update our episode. So we're going to focus on showing you exactly how to do that. And we're going to do this two ways, two boxes, two hosts, two ways. I'm going to show you the old fashioned way using a mouse and the flywheel. And Mike's got a cool trick up his sleeve. We'll let him explain that to you when we get started on his part. But he's going to show you how to do this using nothing but his hands. And they're never going to leave his body at any time <laughs> during the demonstration. All right, join me here. I'm going to start with mine. I've already got a snip and sketch done. I just took a picture of my desktop so that we can easily use that. I left the old snipping tool up with our little prompt that tells us, hey, if you want to try the snip and sketch tool so you can remember how to find it. Windows key, uh, shift letter S is the control key shortcut if you want to load the snipping tool and take a snip, by the way, Windows shift S, just so you know. And what I'm going to do is go up here to our ruler area. I just want to show you where that is to remind you. And I'm going to pull down here and we'll see that when I click, we can select by default, it will be the ruler, but we can move between the two. And I'm going to start with the ruler. So I've got the ruler already set up. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to drag that around using the mouse. I'm holding down the left mouse button and just moving it around. I'm going to sit it right up here for a second just so that we can see. And you see it's kind of moving. And it's not you tilting. It's me moving it. But you can see I'm moving it. And you can see that when I do move it, this area right here is changing the number and that can show you it's tilting back and forth. And so I'm able to move that ruler just by using the flywheel on the mouse. Watch the screen, right, while I am scrolling right here. And you can see that that ruler is actually moving and you were asking, hey, how do we rotate that? Well, that's how we can do that. And then of course, if I wanna do that, I could just draw a nice line at an angle, drag that away maybe rotate that ruler up a little bit, draw another line right there, move that out of the way, got myself a nice little angle, right, that I can put on the diagram or whatever the case may be. And then if I wanna get rid of the ruler, I just click on it again to make it disappear. If you remember, I can erase all the ink simply by using the erase ink feature right up there. So get rid of that. And then if I want to resize the protractor, let's go in and select the protractor instead of the ruler. We'll just swap that out. And the protractor doesn't rotate, but it gets bigger and smaller. And it's the same thing with the flywheel. I'm rolling the flywheel back towards me from the front of the mouse, and you see that it is slowly shrinking. And now I'm rolling the flywheel forward away from me towards the front of the mouse and the protractor, or rather the, uh, the circle that represents the protractor is growing in size. And so I can use the mouse to be able to manipulate both of the drawing tools and either shrink them and grow them or rotate them past the horizontal, right, either way to move them around. So that's how we do that with the mouse. Mike, let's take a look at how you're gonna show us how to do this. Absolutely, we're gonna leave that mouse behind and we're gonna use our fingers, right? This is what they're for, everything. We got a touch screen all over the place nowadays. Uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing that Adam did simply using my fingers, but it works the same way. I am going to zoom in real quick up here and you can probably, uh, maybe you can see that. Um, right here is a little button that's got a finger on it. And sometimes you'll have to toggle that. It'll turn off the, or turn on or turn off the ability uh, to use your finger with the pen. Uh, so, and I'll show you what I mean here. I'm gonna zoom out. I know you really can't uh, see that too well with this 
particular angle. But the same way Adam started with the ruler is the same way I'm going to start. I can use my finger to touch it or I could click it, but I'm going to click on that little ruler icon and you can see the ruler pops across my screen there. But instead of using my mouse wheel, I'm simply going to use two fingers. And so use two fingers to rotate that ruler wherever you want it. You can move it, rotate it, as you need with two fingers. And the same thing, I'm going to move this down to the white area uh, where Adam was showing you in the middle of that ruler. It tells you the exact degree that you've got that ruler pointed. So you can be very precise with that. Once you get the ruler in place, I'm going to choose my pen, choose my color, and then the same thing, I'm going to draw, oops, and I can draw right along that ruler. And I'll move the ruler out of the way so you can see that nice straight edge that we got there. My line was straighter, I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. It really was, wasn't it? I kind of missed that first one there. Uh, easy enough. I'm going to use Adam's trick to erase all ink. We'll do it one more time just to make sure Mike's is as good as Adam. So there we go. Uh, there's the ruler. Now, if I want to make that ruler go away, just like Adam did, I'm going to hit ruler again. That goes away. I'm going to remove my ink and I'll show you the protractor. I'm going to select the protractor, and it's the same thing. I'm going to use a single touch to move the protractor wherever I want on that screen, and I'm going to use a two-finger gesture, basically pinching or spreading my fingers to change the diameter of that protractor. So when I get that to the right size of the arc that I want to make, uh, I'm then going to choose my pen again, choose my color, and then follow the edge of that protractor. And just like with the ruler, it gives me a degree readout so I can know exactly what size angle I'm going to be making with that. And I can move the protractor uh, and I can do it again. I can shrink that protractor down and do it again. And we can make all the arcs or circles that we need. So similar, you know, with the, with the fingers, you're just going to be using a single finger to move that protractor around and then a pinch or spread gesture to change the size of that protractor. So as you can see, pretty easy to use a touchscreen with that ruler and protractor as well. Absolutely. I like it a lot. I'm actually thinking, you know, my next laptop, I may have to go touch. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to stick old school and go with the mouse. All right. So you've seen two different ways we can do this. Now, for those that are really adventurous, you can give it a shot on the touchpad. It doesn't work quite as well. It's a little funky, but you could use those key gestures, those hand gestures Mike was talking about with a touchpad. Roughly get the same effect. All right, so Mike, we normally give it a thumbs up, thumbs sideways, thumbs down on this one uh, for every one of these. I'm going to say this is actually pretty cool. I like the touchscreen capability, like the old school mouse capability, like the fact that we can do this if we want to manipulate the drawing tools and the fact that they give us the flexibility to do it both ways for me is a thumbs up. Yeah, so same here. I'm going to give it a thumbs up for sure. I like the ability to use that ruler. Uh, there's many times I'm trying to annotate something that I'm capturing, and I've tried to draw a line with a mouse, and I can't get it straight to save my life. With that ruler and that protractor, I can make nice, precise annotations. Uh, definitely thumbs up on this side. All right, very cool. So another, not another brand new Windows cool feature, but an updated cool feature for you. We're going to keep rummaging through that box, looking for new cool features. When we find them, we'll be back and bringing them to you. But until then, I'm Adam Gordon. And I'm Mike Roderick. And we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.